this video is basically this video is basically on my three low budget movies and I think the best stuff that comes out many times is very low budget I think if if, if there's individuals that don't ha that have this hunger to create things they have this hunger to build something and they, they have very little resources and then they they stretch those resources as much as they can to create whatever they want this is where the true genius happens and um the the three films i'm uh, i'm thinking about right now are the blair witch project which is a classic i mean i I'm not even going to comment on it too much because it's just very well done with such a low budget. Then um, Quentin Tarantino's first film, which is arguably one of the best Reservoir Dogs. And, and I do think that Pulp Fiction follows some of the same guidelines in some of the other films, but Reservoir Dogs is just very well done. There's just not a lot of space where you get bored not a lot of time where you just are just following a plot that does that you already know what, what's going to happen it's just very uniquely done and i think Quentin tarantino was just very young and very creative when he, he did that film and then the third film i want to say and i, and, and I want to say that he's i think a swedish director i'm pretty sure he's european the cast including Nicole Kidman, so the, I think some of the cast is very expensive. But the film itself required no budget because it's all on a chalk-built town in the middle of the mountains of Colorado, I believe. And I think the uniqueness of this film is just the... Um, I think it was Rousseau or Locke who, who argued that human nature is just... can be... Can be um, satanic or or dem demonic or evil in general because the whole town turns against the one of the main characters when she arrives to the town. Everybody who who wanted to help her, and I think I think the the cool thing about this film is just that it creates a. It creates the, I think that most people that will watch it want her to revenge and they want to see the violence back, which is something that only a, a, a good director, a good screenwriter, a good um, plot maker, whoever it is, a good creator, forgot exactly the role in, in movies, can do. Just, just the desire of want revenge. Um... I remember being in this town last year, about exactly one year ago. It was called Inverness in the Highlands of Scotland. And I was in this town and I basically had the same feeling. I went to the town and, and there was a warning sign. The guy I was trying to hang out with just basically disappeared and said like, leave Inverness, small town, small minds. And I remember I was there, but I kept receiving like warning signs, warning signs. And I just could see the entire town just turning against me. The same thing happened in Puerto Escondido, Oaxaca. It's just like I really had to leave or the whole town would have um, enslaved, ensla enslaved my soul. So this, these are the three films I'm commenting on that are my fa probably my favorite low budget films. And they are Dogville, Blair Witch Project, and Reservoir Dogs.